DIY time. Hey guys, so this is Nicholas DIY Do It Yourself. And today we're going, I'm going to show you how to fix your 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 magnetic football floor. So this is my first Nicholas DIY epi f f video, so I'm not going to be that good. But let's get started. So first what you're going to do, I'm going to have to take the cube apart. So let me show you. If if the cube if the cube's already took it apart, you're gonna have to skip this. First, what you're gonna do is turn the top a 90 degree angle, pull it like this. Oh heck. Sorry guys. So something happened. And you're gonna have to Put pressure on the piece by pulling it. And when you're done, it should look and should this piece should be out. So now let's get started. So what you're gonna do now when you're done, it should look like this, and the and all pieces should be in. Oh, and by the way. I'm going to be doing it until I'm all done. So, okay. There we go. So first what you're going to do is have to take everything apart. Apart. What happened? Oh, hey. <clears throat> they focus the sticky little part. When you take it apart, the core should be normal. And I don't align with all the pieces like this. They do, they do serve a purpose, and there's and it's supposed to do it. And and it's actually a really good way. So let's get started. If I were you, I would I would take apart a magnetic four by four. Cause if you, cause if you um did. Not that I won't really know what to do. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, might be okay if I turn it around. Mm, sorry. Oh, first what you're gonna have to do is make sure you have all the pieces. And when you mean all the pieces, that means all of them. So first, I want you to put on the yellow side. It's any side you want. But I, but I, but I would like if you, you do the yellow side. So first, what you're going to do is connect the entire thing together. And make the bottom layer. So, referring to the video of these, so I'm going to show you what what the pe what the pieces are going to be called. These are going to be the smaller lips. These are going to be the larger lips. These are going to be called the center pieces, and 
and the edge pieces are going to be called the 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 edger pieces and that's why so it's going to take me a while to actually re spare the entire cube so um while you're doing that you're going to have to make sure it's a square. Entire square. So it might take a while to actually put all the, put get all the pieces, but if I were you, I would I would not listen what I said. I would I would listen to how you're supposed to do it. Like you would put it in rows. I didn't do it because um well it might not be that easy, but I'm still putting it together. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna put it together. But any bathroom break breaks me. Like any time when I have to go to the bathroom, I'm going to leave you guys. I was trying to start the first video side. And if I don't come um, until you're done, well, then that means well, that means you can do whatever you want until I come back. Or if you're trying to go in a hurry, just um, skip the bathroom break. Like when I go to the bathroom break, skip it. So what you're gonna have to do is actually make everything and do not put in the center. And let me, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because if you actually take it apart and put it in, it's more, more actual good way. So like, um, let's talk and get it right on. So, So when you're done, it should look like this. Now I'll put it close to up to you. It should look like this. And no gears, not even a core. Next, what you're gonna do is have to, you're gonna have to take apart it like this. You're gonna have to rip it apart, get the core, and slide it in. Then put it back. So now what we're gonna have to do is make sure or everything's slanted like this and not lined up into their place. So this is why. So you can put in these the larger lips in. Make sure all of them are in so when you put in a piece, it doesn't really fall apart. And I know what you're thinking, how can that work? Well, this. So when you're done, it's it's good to actually make it make, to not hold it up because the pieces might shift downwards. But now what you're gonna do is slide it around, then get one of these, get a smaller lip and wedge it under under a piece. So like I wedged it under. Wedging is like putting your finger under and um um showing and like um. Well, wedging is like um, wedging the piece in for like whatever. So now what we're going to do the floor is to put in these pieces in of the piece side. It, you can do it on any side. I'm just starting with the blue side. Then you then you're sure then you're sure to make a put this piece down right here. Now if you do that like this, it, it should look exact same. And this is why you're not supposed to put 
other piece in. So you can actually have some room to put this to put the other bracket in. Next, you're going to have to go to the other side and bracket everything. So I'm so you're gonna have to do step that I did over and over again until it's done. When you're done, that's that's wait if I'm still doing it. Don't go faster than me. I I swear. Please don't go faster than me. Sorry for flaring in it. Anyways. So if you have troubles, troubles, or if you have, or when you're done and you still have a few pieces that aren't supposed to be there, you're going to have to go back and see where those pieces go. But if they're not part or in different shapes, you're going to have to find out what kind of, what kind of cube it goes to. Then you're going to have to first get these bigger lips. You're going to get four of them and, and put them, put them into these little slots, all of them. Now you're going to have to get these smaller lips and you're going to have to wedge them in the other part. And you're not supposed to get four. You're going to have to get at, um, um, enough to actually put them under all the pieces that you put in. Like, you're going to have to wedge them in. So, what? Here, I'm going to show you what I'm done with this, okay? By the way. I, and if I, and if you think that I can't assemble a 4x4, four or so I can't assemble a 4x4, four four, at the end you will forget that and think I can assemble a 4x4. Four four. Yeah. Oh my god! If that happens, don't worry, just fix it again. I need some time. So if that happens, don't worry. We'll fix it. What you're gonna do is put back together the cube. My God, it scared me so much. So I, so I want you to actually redo the entire cube if that happens. And I'm not trying to do this, so it will take longer. I'm trying to do it so, um, like. Not that much, it exploded on me. By the way, by the way, by the way, because this is my first video, because, um, because, well, I wanted to see if anybody wanted to fix a 4x4. And this should be the first, and this is going to be the first video of Nicholas DIY. Not... Not on channel, that's what it, that's what it's called. You also might want to pause a couple of times, too. I know. I know. My game bag is wet. Sorry, Christian. This is not down. It's okay. I need to put something heavier. I had to flip it so they can't, so, so it's more comfortable this way. Okay. So, um, do the entire steps over if that happens to you, and make sure that no pieces are missing. If pieces are missing, you can't find them. I don't know what the heck happened, but sure, not my problem. Sisters.
cushion. I like cushion, and I would like you to actually find some pieces if if there's still more. Okay. Oh, you dropped some pieces. Yeah, I, yeah, I exploded. Yeah, I exploded when I tried to put in pieces. Okay. And I'll try so. Not to be in the camera. Well. So instead of doing the other piece, instead of actually doing it, I would actually like to wedge all of the all of the smaller pieces in instead. So um, it's more easier, so you can actually go around. And you gotta be careful because this part step actually actually has to be straight. You're gonna have to, it's actually straight. So referring to the video video. Video these these parts of the four by four are aren't really gonna be good, but sometimes they're gonna have to stand up so I can get the piece that dropped. Okay, guys, so don't really panic if I actually go away. I know you won't, but if you do, just remember it. Don't panic. Don't panic, and also don't panic if your 4x4 gets destroyed like mine. Accidents can happen. You just have to restart. Mine exploded right now. Okay, exploded. But you're going to have to be careful when you actually wedge in the pieces. Nick, was you mind if there's another video in the background? Yeah, there's a... Well... Do you mind if there's another video in the background? Just be a little quiet. Okay. I'll just I'll just take pictures though. I you know that one. You know I'm an idiot. So sorry. When you're done, but I be careful by making this. So I rather you actually do this so it's actually more stable. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. I really need that anyways. So now you're going to put all the pieces in. And by the way, some pauses might be there. And and, and instead of actually leaving you guys, I'm going, I'm going to pause the video when I need bathroom breaks. So when I need bathroom breaks, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back. And start going. I'm gonna break it down. Actually, kind of, actually, kind of nervous, nervous, cause this is my first time actually doing this. Okay. First time actually being in the video by myself. No help. Yes, Mom? We're already in, we're already recording. Um, Terry, you won't be in the video, right? Mm -hmm. You won't be in the video, right? Yeah, Terry, uh, we're recording, Terry. Yeah. So um, we're gonna have to. So when you do uh, the last step, you're gonna have to put put in the pieces really carefully if that happens. So like, I defer to you to actually do the pieces and. And some people might already be done. And sorry for letting you win, but it's a bunch of pauses. It is. Yeah, it's it is recording nineteen minutes straight. Gotta take pauses, Nicholas. I mean, Christian. And look, Christian. What, Christian? I I know what Nick Christian. I know what Nicholas DIY means. Nicholas DIY. I do it yourself. That means I mean I I already made what it means. 
It means, it means that uh, not stop until we're done. But it's not like the letters of the word. I'm just saying what it actually, what it means. Not, not what it stands for. Well, let's hope it actually just goes popular. That's the only thing I hear. Yeah, if it goes popular, I'm going to start making videos like every day now. No, not every day. Like at least like one video a week. Well, Christian, I will, Christian, I will, I will decide what kind of days I will actually do it. Like, I should actually, like, do it, like, every time, every time everybody comments, what should I do next? Right? Yeah, but I don't really have comment section all the time, so. So, um, I want to tell you something. Anytime when you want Nicholas DIY to come streaming, you're going to have to comment the, the, the next video that's already here, like this first one. You can comment 5x5. Five 5x5, five. Five five, I don't have a 5x5, five five, but, uh, but my brother doesn't want me to destroy his 5x5. Five five. So I have to get a 5x5. Five five. So if somebody comments that, um, then it's going to take a while for, actual, for me to actually make that video. Yeah, but hopefully we should. So when you're done, it should look like this. Now what you're going to be doing next is make the next layer and uh, this might be the easiest layer because there's no bracketing. But the bracketing layers are actually really hard because you got to be like stable with it. Nicholas, he's a professional. No, I'm not. My <laughs> brother doesn't know because he said that because I only know I'm the only one one that knows how to assemble a four by four. Christian, Christian only really knows how to assemble um two by two to three by three, right? Yeah, maybe five by five. Well, maybe five by five, but he's never took the parts as five by five. Well, I can't say. He has his his six by six has popped before, but not totally destroyed. And if you're and if you're looking for a six by six tutorial, it might take a while because I don't have a six by six either. Or or also because I gotta practice. Cause four by four skills aren't that good. So if I practice more, more, and I get I get a six by six, I'm really careful. Maybe I should do it, but I will do it because the comments should say. But I'm not going to really do it. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do it, okay? I'm saying that any comments that, that I can do, like, I'm trying to do, like, one by one. I already have four by four, and now I'm trying to go to five by five. I do want a five by five, though. Next, you're going to have to be really careful because you're going to put in four bracket, bracket pieces in, in the slots. And what slots I mean are the slot pieces with the center pieces. And the edge, and well, well, I forgot the name I was gonna call the edge pieces. But if you do, if you do know them, you can call them. But but what's also the edge pieces when you put them in, you're gonna have to be careful with the corners because the corners can actually what? Well, well, next and the last layer, you're gonna have to put in all pieces. And when you get to the edge piece, edge piece, instead of connecting more, you're gonna have to put in this larger lip because if you don't then you're going to have to take it apart and then put in the larger lip because because there's no way that you can put it in next what you're going to do is hold the center piece up and wedge the 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 small the smaller lip and it should be stable like this then we're going to have to Put in the corner piece that's in that layer, and then you're going to have to do the next layer of the center pieces, of, of the edge pieces. So, when you're done putting in all the edge pieces, you're going to have to be, so, I'm, well, you're going to have to be careful because, because I'm going to sh show you what I get there. My, my God. Okay, so I'm going to trouble. So if you get the troubles too, just repair it. But if the entire thing pops, you gotta watch the video over. I don't know. 
but if it, but the entire thing pops, you might might want to do the second try and get it because that one actually is more stable, and you gotta be careful. Now, when you're done with that, you're gonna have to be careful and put this centerpiece in. And it might it might lose it at the first try, but if it loses it at the first try, I'd rather you hold the centerpiece without any without any edges and then put in the edge pieces. This edge piece, the larger lip, and the edge piece. And then you're going to have to put it in the smaller lip. So if you got this too far, I want you to like and subscribe and share and comment. And if you can't do all of that, um, I just want you to like and subscribe. And if you can share, you can share. Because this video might actually help. And if you're not going to actually assemble the 4x4, you can just watch that actually. If your 4x4 gets destroyed, you, you can um, watch my video. Or you can just remember what I said. Like, I've been watching people or somebody's video, and, I've, and I've did, I don't think I've learned anything, but I have seen, but I have seen how good he is. So, if you see this video, uh, I, w I want you to actually like and subscribe, because his videos are actually helpful. Really helpful. Not the first, but he, his video wasn't helpful the first time when I saw it. It was the first, it was like, I was making a mag, I was trying to fix, like, a magnetic 4x4, but not like this. So this, so this, so, so this video is, so this video all, it has all Rubik's Cubes of Speed Cube Shop. Speed Cube Shop is, is a really good store with all, with all different kinds of Rubik's Cubes. And if you know Speaking Shop, I would you I would like you to get this 4x4 because this 4x4 is, is actually a really good 4x4 one I actually get it. And prices are expensive but really cool cubes. So let's just keep on going. Oh, so sorry. when you go to this step, you're gonna have to hold one of these pieces in. And then you're gonna have to put in the edge piece that it has. Oh, and then nasty. you're gonna have to put and then you're gonna have to well, hold Put in, take out the corner piece of the piece, and then you're gonna have to put in the larger lid. But you're gonna, but you're gonna have to take this piece out too because it might not fit. Then you're gonna have to shove it in. What you're gonna do is put in the smaller lip. Then you're going to put the rest together. And when you get to when you do the first one, you're gonna have to do the second one, which is gonna be a corner. And how you're gonna do it, you're gonna have to actually pull it. So you're gonna have to actually, so if it can't fit, I'd rather you putting the corner piece in. Ah, it's kinda hard. So how do you get, take out the small? The larger lip and one of the smaller lips, and not the top lip, because that one just make make it harder to actually put. Now what you're gonna do is put the rest in in a special way so no, the I'm rest is He's learning that. Out. So. <laughs> So now what you're going to do is going to put, put the, the center piece in and, and when you actually put it in, in you're going to say how am I going to put in the last Ooh. piece. Well, 
Well, if I'm going to have to turn into a 90 degree angle, like I said in the first starting. And Action. Sorry about that pause, but my brothers, but my brother actually had to actually do it because it was too long. And you should have an almost complete four by four. So be careful when you actually turn it like on the side because there's no pieces actually holding it together. What you're gonna do is take apart or some of these pieces. So I rather you actually take apart corner pieces and only on only like like um two corner pieces and take out one of these pieces and then I'd rather you actually turn it turn this piece around so you can actually put in the first piece first piece right here remember you're gonna have to wedge it in are you done putting in both of the pieces you're gonna have to slide it where it actually is supposed to go. And if the and if the wedge and this, the smaller the piece it actually falls, you're gonna have to actually pull it back. So if I were you, I would actually put in all the pieces really easily. And then when you get to the last piece, I'd rather you to actually take out this piece so you can actually put it in. And if a piece falls out, I'd rather you take it apart so you can actually get the piece. But I'd rather you not really take it apart because you might ruin your progress. Not really take apart the entire thing. By the way, that background noise is my brother. So now what you're going to do when you're done, you're going to have to put this piece back in. Then you can actually put in the other corner pieces. Oh my! Mm -hmm. And make sure you are you careful. Have some water real quick? Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. My God. Thank you. Then, mm -hmm. when you're done, you you don't panic. Like without the center pieces there, like your like your cube is gonna be a centerless cube. Oops. I'm gonna show you what to do when you, when I'm done. Okay. Now, when you're done, you're going to have to get these pieces and actually connect them in. So, like... Oh, no, I realized there was paper in here. But, oh, no, there was tape. Good. So, uh, now the last piece, you're going to have to take out, out, out the, uh, the edge piece, and then you're going to have to put in the piece. The then we're going to have to put in a 90 degree angle and then wedge the last piece in and don't panic because when you're done it should look like this so if you made it this far far i'm going to show you some um, some some scenarios that might happen on your cube pause the video so the so the original scenario is the edge piece popped out so don't panic when it actually does it so you're gonna have to turn it at a 90 degree angle then you're going to you're going to do this so you can um, so you can wedge it like like shove it in i won't really won't really advise you to actually shove it in but it's actually a really good idea to actually shove it in 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 like like how you wear it but i i actually make it so next scenario is a corner piece out i'd rather you would actually shove it in like that but it might not work so instead of you doing that i'd rather you do this take out take out this piece right here and then you're going to have to put in the corner piece might might not really be really good so might take a while for you to actually get the hang of it now when you're done it should be okay pause the video one more time 
action. And the mo and the last scenario is this piece out right here. So you're gonna have to turn in a 90 degree angle, take this piece out so you can put this piece in. Oh. This scenario shouldn't really occur on your 4x4, but, it, but if it does, you know what to do. Then once you're done, you're going to have to turn it at a 90 degree angle and shove it in. Like always, and don't panic like I said. Make sure that you spread it out so you actually can and put it in. There you go. So, so, oh, if you made it this far, your four by four should be done. And by the way, hey, don't forget you should do the comments. It's what kind of the cube should I do next? And before I actually sign out, sorry about all the glitches, but I don't know how that happened. But Nicholas. Yeah, Nicholas DIY is supposed to be do it yourself, and do it yourself is by is by is by doing everything I do yourself. But if you can't do it, Nicholas DIY, I do it yourself is gonna be here. And what I mean, do it yourself is is what I mean as m I am doing it myself. So this is Nicholas DIY, you yourself signing out.